So I have a pile of parts here, actually, it's going to become the DIY USB power. Now, before anybody emails in and tells me that I can buy one of these from Ever80 for $5, don't, because this is a kind of an interesting uh, project because it's got a few basic parts. <laughs> these are resistors, and uh, it's a nice sort of you know, basic project to get started with if you want to learn how to solder, because there's not too many expensive parts inside of here. It's a good thing to practice on. And essentially, it's a, a, a box of, uh, a box with a bag in it and a bunch of parts. It's 20 bucks, they sell it from the Make website. And this is actually based, uh, people were doing these for a while. It's designed to go in an Altoids tin, and you can basically see the, the Altoids tin action there. And that's why they call it the, the Minty Boost Charger Kit. So you got the double A's and the USB output. And this is the part I'm going to be assembling, hopefully uh, with great and rabid success. Now, a lot of people were doing for a while, they were actually doing 9 volt chargers. And what uh, Lady Ada, whose real name I do not know, discovered is that with a nifty little converter, you could actually use uh, a couple of AA batteries and actually be two and a half, basically like 83% efficient going through the power conversion on the, uh, on the IC there and uh, get considerably more power, like two and a half times as power uh, out of a, a nine volt battery to the tune of a complete full charge out of two AA batteries into your video iPod. That's so, the way to go. Bang for the yeah. buck right there. So, you know, cheaper than replacing a battery, cheaper than buying, a, you know, one of those expensive ones. Okay, you can buy the EverReady one for five No, 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 bucks. but it, also too, if you want to make that for somebody and you can totally customize it to maybe some kind of candy they like or whatever. And it's just, that's the whole idea. You yeah. Do it yourself. And, or paint it. Totally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fire up my soldering iron uh, tonight and tomorrow and get this done. And the the uh, directions I'm going to use for this are actually up on the Instructables website. If you've never seen this website, it's incredible. They actually the crew that does this actually works at Alameda over across the other side of the bay, and it's basically a collection of people giving instructions on how to do things. Actually, that's the, the wrong URL for that. Instructables.com is the website for that. And what they do is they basically break down the instructions and really easy to follow, you know, okay, you know, the next 10 tips detail how I went through the process of coming up with the idea. So this is Lady Ada actually documents in this case how she came up with the design. And it's really, really fun. Uh, basically, like Instructables has just about everything on the planet up there. For example, uh, how to open wrapping really quickly. <laughs> the rip cord, babe. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool to add to your gifts. So, you know. How to rip cord. Exactly. It's a neat website. If you've never checked it out, you should go check it out. Pull um, here. Yes. Pull here to open thing. But uh, it'll be exciting. We're gonna, I'm gonna be building this and see if I can still handle my beloved will or solder iron. Soldering iron with a level of kill, skill. I, uh, kill bad, skill good. I still have a couple of good scars from the last soldering adventure I took. <laughs> like you've never soldered yourself to a bench. I haven't soldered myself. I, I pulled, uh, never mind. Skin, <laughs> flesh, it, 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 it all doesn't mix back. well with the very hot pointy tip. If you like the video you just saw, you can find lots more at www.dl.tv.